Hello everyone and welcome to another Pro Guides video here on our Wild Rift channel. It's been a really exciting time to go through all the new things that Wild Rift has to offer and comparing that to the PC version of League of Legends. Now we started off with the keystones in our last video and today we're going to be going over the different changes to the items on Wild Rift. We'll look at starting items, boots, and then we'll cap it all off with the new items. For our question of the day, which of the newest items seems the most appealing to you as a player? And for bonus points, name the champion that you would want to use it on. Let us know in the comments below. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. So let's talk about the thing you'll notice right away when you load onto the Wild Rift and open up the shop. Items have different costs than on Summoner's Rift. You start with 500 gold, but that's only enough to purchase one of these items. Amp Tome, Boots, Brawler's Gloves, Cloth Armor, Dagger, Long Sword, Null Magic Mantle, Ruby Crystal, or Sapphire Crystal. All of these cost exactly 500 gold each. And you'll also quickly notice that potions don't exist either. You use all your gold at the start of the game on one of these basic starting items. No potions, no Dorans, no hand-holding in the early game. I think the position of the honey fruit in the lanes is supposed to be the replacement for potions, and I actually think that's pretty cool, but it does mean that the skill of activating potions in the middle of a fight is no longer a thing you have to worry about micromanaging. Another thing you'll notice is if you're a jungler, there aren't any jungle starting items. No Hunter's Talisman or Hunter's Machete. You get to buy normal items, just like the rest of the Rift. But how do you even jungle, you might ask? The passives of Hunter's Talisman and Machete have been embedded into Smite the Summoner spell. You also have your Smite upgrade into Chilling or Challenging Smite after slaying four large monsters. This leaves your inventory wide open for whatever you want to pick up as a jungler. Next, let's talk about Boots. These are the biggest utility pickup in the game. I mentioned it before in a previous video, but it's so huge that it's worth mentioning again. Boots cost 500 gold and have an active that gives you a burst of movement speed for 3 seconds with a 60 second cooldown on it. The bonus is removed if you deal damage or take damage from an enemy champion. You dump 500 more gold into your boots and you can upgrade them to tier 2. The only new pair of boots are the Gluttonous Greaves, which give you 8% physical and 8% magical vamp, aka lifesteal and spell vamp, just under slightly different names. Then from there, you have the Boot Enchant system, which allows you to place a unique active item effect on your boots for just 500 gold if you want a Gargoyle Stone Plate, Redemption, Righteous Glory, Locket, Proto Belt, or QSS, and 1000 gold if you want a 3 minute teleport or the Zonia's Hourglass active. I cannot stress how game changing this is. A lot of these active items on Summoner's Rift clog your inventory, make it so you have to tech towards that item very early on, and predict that you're going to be a primary target for the enemies. And you also dump a bunch of gold into it. The QSS tax was called the QSS tax for a reason. It taxed the purchaser's wallet and inventory. But here on Wild Rift, it's just 1,500 gold to 2,000 gold total to purchase your boots and whatever enchant you want. Everyone having access to these types of abilities is going to be the primary item difference between Summoner's Rift and Wild Rift. ADCs with Zonias, early QSS purchases that don't cost much, engaged champions having access to engage much earlier, and also supports being able to purchase all the other goodies they really want in their inventory, like a rabbit on step cap. This is going to be the defining feature of the game, and something to watch out for once you've mastered the movement and macro, because people on Summoner's Rift mess up which boot item that they should be purchasing, even in high elo games. So this is another form of mastery, and it's really important to get a read on the entire game and figure out which active item you need and when you need to buy it. Now let's talk about the shiny new items that Wild Rift has to offer. There are seven, I mean, kind of eight, but you'll see what I mean. These are completely new items. There are other items that have had their actives removed, like Hextech Gunblade, but we won't be going over the small changes like that in this video. Since there are a ton of small price and stat adjustments, it's just too long. We already talked about the Gluttonous Greaves earlier, so that was item number one. So let's start with our second new item, Awakened Soul Stealer. Building out of Lost Chapter and Fiendish Codex, and costing a total of 2,500 gold, the Awakened Soul Stealer is a really interesting item. 
It has 65 ability power, 20% cooldown reduction, and 200 mana. But the passive it offers, much like most completed items, is why you really buy it. Soul Charged is a passive that on unique takedowns, reduce the cooldown of your ultimate by 3%, capping at 15% after five stacks. This essentially is Ultimate Hunter, the item. If you somehow kill all five champions on the Rift, this one item will give you 20% normal CDR, plus 15% cooldown reduction on your ultimate, making your ultimate from one item alone have a 35% reduced cooldown. I can see a ton of champions really liking this item. Also, a ton of support champions. Since supports no longer have to dump their cash into a bunch of active items, this super cheap item is exactly what they'll want, and they roam around and assist people all the time. So stacking this up with five unique champion takedowns shouldn't be too difficult. I expect this to be an item that a lot of mage and enchanter supports lean towards in the early and mid game. Purchasing it first maybe isn't really worth it, but all that CDR is quite appealing, so I would say second item, maybe. Next, let's talk about Protector's Vow. This 2700 gold item builds out of a Chain Vest and Kindle Gem, sporting 40 armor, 10% cooldown reduction, and 350 health, as well as a unique passive. Notice the trend? Most of the new items have interesting passives, mostly for supports. The passive is Protector. When next to an allied champion, if you or that ally takes damage from an enemy champion, monster, or turret, both of you receive a 120 plus 20% bonus health plus 15% AP shield and 20% movement speed for 1.5 seconds. This is essentially Guardian, with a much higher bonus HP ratio, much shorter cooldown of 30 seconds, and also still has the 20% movement speed bonus on it that got removed from Summoner's Rift in patch 10.12. This is another extremely cheap support item that Riot has introduced to spice up the game compared to its desktop counterpart. I expect this to be an early purchase for a lot of supports, earlier than you would probably purchase an Awakened Soul Stealer. Our fourth new item is Void Amethyst. Void Amethyst is a mid-tier item that is a quick stop before building into a Void Staff. It costs only 1200 gold and has 25 ability power and 20% magic penetration. This is actually a really cool idea as a Void Staff can be a pretty pricey item and this smoother curve towards the 40% magic penetration of Void Staff feels pretty good to purchase. It's like how Lord Dominic's Regards and Mortal Reminder have Last Whisper. Sometimes you just want to make a quick stop for some early penetration and then come back to finish it off later. Harmonic Echo is the fifth new item introduced in Wild Rift. With a price point of 2800 gold and building out of Lost Chapter and Blasting Wand, this item has 80 AP, 10% cooldown reduction, 300 mana, and the unique passive Harmonic Echo. Moving and casting abilities builds harmony. At 100 Harmony, your next healing or shielding ability on an ally other than yourself restores 70 plus 10% AP health to your target and up to three nearby allied champions. This is Luden's Echo having a healing baby with Static Shiv. This seems like another great support item that gives them some extra power in the game to support all of the quick paced combat. Supports actually feel really good in Wild Rift and aren't just paper who can't contribute to fights. They deal more damage with all the extra AP they get to buy, and they heal and shield for more with their new items. Speaking of which, we have two items left, and these aren't exactly support friendly. Infinity Orb is our pen ultimate new item. At 2,850 gold, the item gives 60 ability power, 200 health, 5% movement speed, 15 flat magic penetration, and the unique passive, Inevitable Demise, which makes it so that your abilities crit for 20% bonus damage against enemies below 35% health. This item is a massive win more item. If you are already winning and get people low, get this sucker. This is the Assassin Dream. This bonus damage kicking in when your target is just below 35% health is huge for finishing people off. Ever play an Assassin and have someone get away with just a sliver of HP left? Well, not anymore. This item is going to make AP Assassins quite functional on the Wild Rift. And our final item is kind of two items. Winter's Approach and Fimble Winter are a single item purchase, much like Manamune and Muramana, where Winter's Approach will upgrade into Fimble Winter once you've charged it up. At just 2600 gold, Winter's Approach grants 40 armor, 10% CDR, 450 mana, a unique awe passive that grants bonus armor equal to 1% of your maximum mana, 
and the passives you associate with Tier of the Goddess, refunding 15% of the mana you spend, and of course a passive where you're given a charge every 4 seconds up to 3 charges, and each basic attack on hit or mana expenditure consumes a charge and grants you plus 8 mana, up to a maximum of 700 mana, at which point it transforms. And when it changes into Fimble Winter, not only is it a 1150 mana item now, the awe passive upgrades from being 1% of your maximum mana being turned into bonus armor to now granting 3% of your maximum mana as bonus armor. And you gain the unique passive Frozen Colossus that says immobilizing an enemy champion consumes mana and grants a shield for three seconds that absorbs 150 plus 5% current mana damage for every nearby enemy champion. This effect only activates when you have greater than 20% maximum mana. And it's on only a 10 second cooldown this item is a ton of fun. Not everyone will want this because of the fact that it grants no HP and you just run around with a 2600 gold item that only grants you armor, mana, and a small amount of CDR for the majority of the game. And we've kind of seen how much people like Frozen Heart, not really that appealing, but once this bad boy transforms, it is nuts. Champions that can dip into this shield will find themselves almost impossible to kill, especially when there are multiple targets on them. This is one that I'll definitely have to mess around with personally, especially since I'm not sure who this will be best on at the moment, since Rise isn't in Wild Rift yet. And that is going to do it for our new items on Wild Rift video. I hope you all enjoyed it and learned something new and are as excited as I am to try out all these new items and combinations on a bunch of different champions. Don't forget to answer our question of the day about which item looks the most appealing to you. And also, if you want those bonus points, tell us which champion and why. It won't just help me get some crazy ideas of what to try out. You also might inspire someone else in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.